Good day, YouTube. I did her. Yes, he did. There's my homemade rigging. And there's where we came from. I came from. Way over there. And Mr. Dustin Porter, you are right. If your ass weren't clenched so tight, you'd shit yourself. Holy, what a ride. Anyway, let's get this. We are working our way to the south tip, where the houses are, of course. Houses. Oh, I don't know where to start. This has been so many want tos. I don't know which one to go in first. Big house, little house. Incredible. I don't know if we can get all this in one shot, but incredible. Incredible amount of work to put that together. And it's not as big on the inside as it's always looked. Cutting words.
There was something here. Apparently Joe is his name. Lived in a little cabin. Could be the remnants of what's there. Probably and definitely not this one. But most probably the little one that we're going to see next. He lived outside Soda Creek somewhere. And one day he packed up, loaded up onto a barge, floated down the river, and took up this island. Made this A-frame jig over here, which I know is over here, to lift his cabin, or partially assembled cabin, up onto this level, and uh, proceeded to build a sawmill and mill all the lumber for his other house, that big house I'm assuming. Just wondering where he would have been. Well, it's laying right here, so I would assume he got stuff into this crevice here somehow and brought her up. That's quite the crack. I hear ya! In my speculation that this is the cabin he brought with him. Wow. This is awesome. Pretty late in the day. It was a long time getting here and getting across. As much as I'm sure old Joe has a hoard here somewhere, I'm not here looking for it today. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, yes, anyway, he lived. Built all this, lived here f from 1958, and he was at that some point noticed missing. And police, and apparently Rudy Johnson, maybe, and a coroner came in on the island looking for him and uh, found his home just like he'd walked out for the day. boat was found overturned down the river at San Jose Creek. Yes, anyway, in 1972 or 3, he turns up missing, or show, he comes up missing, and then, uh, yeah, I guess this is where he did all his heavy thinking. His office fell over, though. Um, sometime after that, anyway, a rumor started that he had been seen working on a peat farm at his sister's in somewhere down the coast down there so those are that's all the information i know i've looked at it and looked at it and looked at it every which way or any everywhere i can find it and that's all i can come up with he's apparently into his 70s Interesting little island. This is awesome. I will be coming here camping, I hope, 
definitely not by the zip line again. While fun and my only way home tonight, I'm thinking that river can be conquered in a boat. It's not that big or rough. Who knows, maybe Joe's mysterious tunnel, if we ever find it, was going to be a tunnel to the mainland, is one of the stories I heard. I speculate it was just a root cellar. From Mr. Porter's video, it has appearances of a root cellar. Although I'm beginning to doubt him. Must be going the wrong way. Must be back at the other end of the island. Must make full circle. So we'll keep going this way. 11 minutes already. I could spend a day here. No real records of him around Williams Lake except that he came into town a couple times a year, bought his supplies with gold, gold dust, and then rode his bike back out here somewhere, got in his boat, brought his supplies over to the island, and lived a nomadic life. Truly nomadic. Wow. No. Oh. Who knows, the guy could have, he could have probably been making his living right off this island. An amount of gold that would have to be in and on it. I always thought there wouldn't be much to it, but... Wow! Is there anybody up there? That's the lookout where you come and park your vehicle and overlook the island where I have so many times before, but not today. I just wish I'd brought my water bottle. There's Rudy Johnson's bridge. That itself is a story. What one man can do. Once he puts his mind to it. I don't know if I can see. I can't see my screen to see if it's getting this. But One man, a couple sons, a couple friends. Some backwoods engineering. No government assistant that bridge was put in. It's sometime in 1968, I know that, the year I was born. Anyway, everybody knows that story. Everybody wants to know this story, and I'm on it, man. This is unbelievable. Finally be in here. If I had cell phone service, it'd be phoning my kid's mother and saying, you know what? Screw you. You got them tonight. I'll be camping on an island tonight. I don't need a sweet bag. Okay. So. Still filming, yeah. Dog's still barking. Try that my cigarette again. Unreal. Look at this, people. Look at this. Had to hike from where that log jam is there. That's where the little suspension bridge is. I don't know if I filmed it or not, but it's in Dustin Porter's video, a little suspension bridge. You come across and you come down by that log jam and then it's Creekside all the way to where the zip line is. And then, yeah, the rest is a hell of a thrill ride. And if you're scared of heights, don't try it. Where are we going here? Oh, not much further. Well, yeah, only bush around prickly. 
I'm going to be watching my feet. I'm going to stay along the edge here if I can. Oh, this is awesome. Just can't imagine living out here in the 50s and 60s. Oh, where is your little cavern? Okay, we have something. So somehow I doubt that was a tunnel idea. Bury your gold dust in there. Beans. Fish. Shut up! Holy... So, was he tunneling under the river, or did he just build himself a root cellar? Or is there another one of these? I got no light. I'm thinking myself, I'm thinking a root cellar. I don't know how much we'll get in there, oh yeah, it's not that big. Okay. Right. Well, let's go back to the house. Have another look. I don't know where we started. So 
so cool. One man, no help. 15 years. Once again, buddy, whew, I'd like to know where you get your water. I could sure use a drink. Yeah, you never know if there's a... Another little hidey hole down there. I gotta get to the cabin and sit down for a minute. Tie my shoes. Makes a guy wonder though how he how he moved the logs. You could raft horses, but how, how would you get them up here? I think you'd lift them. broken jars. Hope that's not where he was hiding his gold because somebody's already got it. Just show you how high the river is right now. That peninsula usually goes quite a ways. He told me 15 years on an island and he didn't have some gears. A stairway down. Now the only thing I'm looking for next is that little workbench thing, but I think that's on that side of the island. Maybe even behind the house, but I'm going to turn you guys off for a minute and pretty much seeing anything. If I come across anything new, I will shore it off. There it is. Mad Russian Island. I don't know where the mad comes from, but to each his own. Yeah, I think this is probably the cabin he would have brought from Soda Creek and reassembled it here on the spot. Lived in it till he milled on his lumber. Built his final home. Oh, oh spare parts everywhere. And a transmission or transact of some kind. Tin and shit there. Oh, there it is. 
I'll go sit there and have my cigarette. There's the back. Go sit in Joe's little workshop. If I can get to it, how did you get to it? Do the zip line, definitely bring yourself some water. I got water, it's just with my backpack over there. I just didn't really think I was gonna be here very long. Oh, yeah. Nice little work area. Rebuilding some gearboxes. A little sawmill more than likely. Some spare parts there. Oh the pan around. Let's finish the little explore here, see what's over here. Any more nooks and crannies because I'm going to sit down for a minute. The size of some of these rocks. Be careful, I don't want to knock nothing over like this one and that one. Just huge. Those are his curtains. People digging up the floors. Looking for his gold. Pretty simple. Freaking chimney. Wow. What was you doing in here? It's bloody big, eh? Ah, somebody left their mustard bottle. You hiding your gold in here? Oh, piece of steel. All the floors, brick, steel, That's steel, it's a rock. What's still farther there? This is a monster. Holy moly! It's a big bloody rock. Quick view of the loft up here. I never understood why he did such a elaborate roof. It would be just, you think, harder to heat. But cooler in the summer. Yeah. Well, this was probably his firewood for that monster of a fireplace in here. Awesome.
Oh. I wonder if that was heading in for the next piece. Nice square. I would have made a nice piece. In there, I believe, was his other cabin. If it's not his, it was built later on. But rumor also has it that there was he had a second cabin on the mainland on that side. So maybe that's the creek where he got his water, which we'll oh, sure like to get to it. Anybody up there yet looking down on us? Nope. I hiked down that Ooh. to get to that cabin. Never did post that video. Wait for the beat. Dwayne here, Fraser Canyon Baller. I'm on Russian Island and met Seth Reimer. Seth Reimer. Of all days, times, and places, two people meet on an island in the middle of nowhere. Yes. Nice meeting you, Seth. And Absolutely. He's, he's going to watch me take the zip line, and he come across just on the other side of the log jam up there, and down the middle in a kayak. Yeah. So by the time I get to the other side, we'll be we'll see who gets we'll be filming first. you paddling your ass up creek. So nice awesome. meeting you, man. Deep, 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 deep.